Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial where I'll show you how to play a sound on collision using the WISE integration inside Unreal Engine 4. The first thing to do is create a blueprint class of type actor and we are going to call it WISE class. We can double click, add component and I'm going to add a cube. Then we check for simulate physics and under the collision setting we set simulation generates hit event. Now we can right click on the cube, add event on component hit. This will bring us to the event graph. From here we can just for uh, debug we can link the on component hit to a print string where we say collision. Now let's move to the content browser and open the uh, character blueprint. We refer to the character using a self. So get a reference to self. We get actor location and get actor forward vector. Of the return value of get actor forward, we multiply this vector by a float. That can be something like 300. Then we add the get actor location using a vector uh, plus vector with the uh, forward vector uh, multiplied by 300. Then we add a spawn actor from class. The class type is the wise class generated with our blueprint. So we simply need to type wise class. And here we have our blueprint. Then we take this output and connect it to the spawn transform. And of course we need to trigger this spawn actor. So let's say every time we press a key, maybe when we press the P key on the keyboard, we trigger the system. So each time we press P on the keyboard, we spawn our cube in front of our character 300 U Unreal units uh, forward. Now we can compile, save and play. We are receiving multiple collisions so we need to filter these many collisions. We need just a few of them for some design purpose. We need just those collisions with decent velocity. To do so, we can move inside the WISE class. We can get rid of the string. Out from the hit component, we can um, get the component velocity connected to a uh, vector length. And if this value is greater than a certain number, for now, we, uh, we are going to leave it to zero. So if, if greater than zero, we can send it to a branch. So if the condition if it's true, we can uh, send a trigger through the branch. Now let me make some space here. And from here, we can post an event under AK event. Here I select the play impact, which is an event I created inside WISE. Here I have imported my audio file. And here the play event uh, called play impact, it's associated with that specific audio file. The actor is linked to self, so we get a reference for self. And now each time we detect a collision, uh, we'll hear a sound. We can compile, save and play.
we are sending a trigger to uh, the audio file even for those very small and fast triggers. So let's say that the vector length for the velocity component should be at least 40. So if greater than 40, we can uh, send the uh, play impact event. Much better. Now let's try to change the pitch of the audio file depending on the uh, component velocity. We can link the branch to a set RTPC value. RTPC stands for real time parameter control. And we'll have a look at this feature in WISE in, in a few minutes. So, from this point, we need to select the RTPC value. I have already created one, which is collision, collision velocity. If you select your audio file, and you go under the RTPC tab, you'll see that from this page you can create curves, custom curves. There are of many types. If you select this create icon, you can set a voice volume, a voice pitch, low pass filter, high pass and so on. I made a voice for both volume and pitch and I renamed it collision velocity. The X axis is normalized between 0 and 100. So you should think of it as, as a percentage. And for the voice pitch, we have values that, that represent semitones. So minus 1200, it's one octave below. 1200, which is this point, it means one octave above. For the voice volume, we have the Y range in dB. So we have 0 dB as a center value. Then we can set the volume to minus 200 or plus 200. Now I can set the uh, collision velocity inside here. And I can send the vector length to the uh, actual value of our set RTPC. Before doing so, of course, we could connect this vector length straight to the value input, but this will produce extreme values. Now, remember this pitch, which is one octave above the uh, original uh, audio file pitch, which is set to the 100% of the collision velocity. The first collision sound, it's always at 100%. And that's not good at all. It means that the output value produced by vector length are way above 100. So we need to map range clamped from 0 to the maximum value detected by vector length. I did some measurement uh, of camera and I saw that the highest value was 360. So let's say the as in range from 0 to 400. And I want an output range from 0 to 100. Much better now. But we have one more issue to fix, which is the very fast pace at which we can trigger this box. So the way we can fix this is to use a do once between the on component hit and branch. So do once. And we need, of course, to reset the do once at a uh, cert with a certain delay. Otherwise, we'll hear just one collision sound. So out of the on component hit, we can apply a sequence. The first sequence output is sent to the do ones, while the second one to a delay of duration time 0 0.2. 
and the completed output to the reset of do once. Dealing with collision sounds is really time demanding since you need time to set the perfect parameter for each sound and you need to pay attention to uh, multiple audio file repetitions to unnatural sounds so it's quite an effort to generate realistic collision sounds. Hopefully this video was helpful for you if so I invite you to give a like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.